Oh, here we go. Kicking kick it off with the man himself. Nah, 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 nah. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no. We're live again. We're live again. <laughs> oh, shit. Starting off as we need to go on um, with the man yeah. of our worlds. Right, that's, I think everything's in place. Uh, ah, yeah, I seem to yeah. be a record logo popping up in the top corner, so that's us. Super fight is going live. Oh man, here we go, buddy. Red lights are about to go on air. <laughs> it's going, oh, red light, eh? red light. Eh? <laughs> you see, fucking more Get in the go get, in the go get. <laughs> oh dear. Right, here we go. That's that. Imran and Finney, what a match here. What would happen if Finney if Imran puts the Finney down? Well, I was about to say that. I think he got to added to the castle. <laughs> <laughs> I don't imagine that. Eh? What? What? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to GFW Super Fight Labyrinth. It's Nick here alongside my broadcast colleague Dave and Dave we're kicking things off here with the GFW champion in action Infinity will go one on one with this man Imran Thunder and I mean we were just talking off air Dave about you know what would happen if Imran was to pick up a victory here can they <laughs> and, and turmoils <coughs> I mean, I think he, I think the way that the management would look at it is that he'd potentially be next in line. I don't think would add him to the pay per view of this last moment. Yeah, no, no, I don't, no, I don't think so. I mean, anything could happen in GFW, of course, but well, remember before Infinity fought Crush, he lost two straight weeks to the Hellraisers. Yeah, that's and right. Yeah. Like um, their reward for that was they got a tag team title shot, which they won. So you know, yeah. it's I think in stranger would, things have happened. He probably would get some kind of a, a title match of some kind. I mean, possibly probably the global, uh, not the global, the uh, GFW. But yeah, I mean, there there, there will there would be other options for him. But I mean, you know, I mean, but, but that's us basically jumping to conclusions. I mean, this man right here is the standard bearer for GFW right now. Yeah, I mean, we've talked about this off-air a lot, Dave, as well. I mean, Infinity, when it comes to non-title matches, you know, he he has slipped up a few times. You know, let's not get past that. As you just mentioned, the Hellraiser's coming to mind. Um, Mr. 47 as well, um, a few weeks ago. But when that bell rings and the title's on the line, it's almost like he's got he just kind of has another level, doesn't he? He's got another level he, he can go to, that kind of an elite level, almost. And it's, uh, it's crazy to see. I, well, yeah, because like last time we've seen Infinity at this peak, at this physical, you know, dominance was back in the day when he was global champion, like, um, as, as in CGW, not as in GFW. You know, this resurgence yeah. of, of Infinity since coming coming back after being released and they're coming back is the most dominant champion that we have on the roster currently, like, followed followed by Angel, the Cruiserweight champion. Yeah, yeah that's right. Which says, yeah. you know, Infinity went from being undefeated, shall we say, as the global champion, and then when there was this, the transition between him being global champion to being the first ever GFW champion has not changed. He's kept that level of dedication to that belt. Yeah, yeah. He's it's just transitioned in, 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 into this new championship that's now the focal point of our next hit we have to kill. And Dave, you know, another thing as well is we've talked about it as someone just recovered with him and started strong here. But I think um, the uh, the last pay per view, the Revolution pay per view, you know, I don't think anyone gave him a chance. I know I obviously had a small chance of retaining the title, which he did. But <laughs> anybody who really 
expected him, you know, to come out as champ, and he did. And you know, he swears that he's going to do that again uh, at Hard to Kill in um, 48 hours uh, this coming Sunday night. And I mean, we have to touch on that scramble match, Davis. One of the biggest matches in JFW's history so far, and you know, I suppose in a way, are we? Is it irrelevant what we think? You know, because. We just don't know what... It could go five ways, right? We don't know what, what the hell's going to happen in that main event. We have no idea, Matt. Like, Infinity won the Revolution Chamber. He retained the newly won GFW Championship. He earned himself another rematch in his claws as champion. So even if he loses, say, a hard to kill, and he gets another two opportunities to get the belt back. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's huge because Infinity like he only needs one moment. That's right, yeah. yeah you know, just ask Devil. God. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that's us, you know, we have a new but I I I can't like I can't um I can't write off Infinity. Like I think if anyone could survive the measuring stick, the heart and soul, the face and tornado it has to be Infinity. Yeah, he's, he's, he's done, his title reign has been, you know, um, I think when people think about Infinity's title reign uh, this era, Dave, I think people will be thinking, you know, underdog that overcame all the odds, you know, I think that's kind of the theme, isn't it, here with Infinity at the moment, and nothing really seems to phase him. Well, definitely since he's became GFW champion, you know, like, when he was Holy champion, he, he, his opponents were, you know, they were, they were solid enough. He had, you know, the, the decisions of Commander Crush being the last global title match that he had. But he was unstoppable, what he would call the, oh, uh, the cross face, yeah, middle of the ring. Locked the cross face in here, in the ring. Can he hold on? Oh, yes, he does. Oh, good, good roll out. But yeah, I think Infinity is just on another level just now. Like, I'm not sure if anyone can match him. Yeah, I think he, um, oh, here he goes. Oh, hold on, mate. The Rose Green building momentum. Building up steam. Oh, huge close oh, line. And Dave, so far in this match, but Imran's really held his own here. Um, oh, no, no, no. Imran's got him up in the torture rack. Oh my god, what a Oh, backbreaker. Well, that would do a number on your ribs right there. Why the man on the second rope here? Well, what's this? Yeah! Oh, <laughs> look at <laughs> the... <laughs> <laughs> the tomahawk broad food. Oh my. Imran's, um, I think he's like, trying to regain control of this match. I mean, one thing Imran will have for this match, I mean, is the size, the power, advantage. Yeah, we always forget how big Imran actually is and until and, and he walks past us here at the desk. He's, He's a very massive. big individual. Oh, hold on! Oh, oh. Andrew Card, he grabbed the Mohawk! Andrew Card, I went over, he needed that big move! Oh, that was, I went nowhere! I'm and just I, like that! <laughs> <was, laughs> oh my god! What the hell? He lights on the stage, you know what I mean? Death oh, player was played in hand for the proper left. You've got to wonder. Oh my is god. Is Infinity trying to get under, you know, Devil's skin? Or Tornado's skin with uh, a move like that? Inf Infinite caught out of nowhere and. I mean, in this match, Dave, Infinity, I would probably say, I would go as far as to say he was in trouble a, a few times, but. That there was a very it. even match right down the middle until that cutter out of nowhere, the original cutter. You know, that's where Devil takes inspiration from for his big over the top brother about him. Teeth shattering. Oh, Dave, it's oh. a. I mean, well, all of these matches are quite big tonight, but I mean, nothing no might big be <laughs> bigger than. New New War <laughs> <laughs> uh, this match right here, and it's um, oh. we're hearing that it's a it's going to be a normal tag team match here. And they had a in their last title match actually it was tornado style, but um, 
Yeah, this is going to be a different... I mean, uh, this is the thing, isn't it? I mean, I can't believe that um, the outfit got their title match. You know, their... Almost like a rematch, I think, as you put it, Dave, on last week's episode. Um, a fight and... You're absolutely right. They, this is kind of they, like a they did it two. in a, such a dominant fashion, though, Nick. Like they went into that tag team battle royal thing and just went, nope, and <laughs> just eliminated <laughs> people left, right, and center. Like they they wanted their shot at resistance again. Yeah, and they had to earn it. You know, if you remember, Assassin uh, actually started that um, Battle Royal with Dante and um, finished it on top <clears throat> last week and he went all the way and even eliminated Hitman in the process so let's go like <laughs> but some people questioned but I mean you know only one person can win that match I mean it could have went horribly wrong if Assassin got eliminated but well that was it you know he, <clears throat> he, he, he took the gamble and it paid off for them I don't think Hitman um, holds any grudges you know yeah I think and, and, and this is going to be, you know, I don't, I don't know if the outfit... I mean, they were pissed off the last time, if you remember, but... Oh, yeah. Are, how are oh, they yeah. going to feel? I mean, this, this really is a second bite at the cherry for them, isn't it? I mean, are, do we, can we, do you think they're going to be even more dangerous this time um, well, than the last? Like, we need to remember as well that at the beginning of the week, resistance with the Night Rose knocked off Kill Mr. Inc. But Dangerous Man was taken out by two triple power bombs. That's right. Yeah, I rem I, that's you right. Know. I remember that. They had to like really go go big to get D-Man out of that match. I mean, how is D-Man feeling after you know after that? Yeah, two triple power bombs and he's had he's only had what five days to recover from that. And they, and then he then he's he's coming into like tonight's tag team match, you know, with Knowing that you know, they have, they have the, this momentum from defeating Kill Mr. Inc., they have now the outfit who are on their game and wanting tag titles back. He then has a match against Tornado later on tonight as well. Yeah, that's right, so, actually, yeah. And, is he doing too much? You know, like, like we don't know. I don't want to say that and him to come across to me as a sales but you know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, well, that's the thing. I mean, I, th I suppose that's the thing, isn't it? I mean, with Nick Nitro and Dangerous Man, it's a difficult one because they are the tag team champions, but, you know, they, they also are um, in the main event, you know, of Hard to Kill also. So if they have been used to, I think, in recent weeks, um, you know, their, their activeness has been, activity has been... Um, a lot higher than normal, you, you, you could probably say. They're fighting across two fronts, aren't they? Well, that's it. You know, this is, like, this is the first... the first time that Nick Nitro has challenged for a heavyweight championship as GFW started. Apart yeah. from... apart from the original crowning of the global title in, in, in the Triple Threat match. That's right, yeah. This is Dangerous Man's second heavyweight title picture after winning the global title at Event Horizon and then losing it 10 minutes later to Cobra who cash and chase for the case. That's right, yeah. I think that, I think that's the thing, Dave. I think I wonder if that's what's motivated Dangerous Man this time. You know, I, I wonder if that motivates him in the sense of he did have a world's title reign in this era, but it was only a very short spell. So I, I wonder if, you know, that is what motivates him to become the next GFW champion. Well, you know, he is the second ever global champion. And I think um, if he has his way, Nick, he'll be the second ever GFW champion as well. Yeah, and we're getting, we're getting word here, Dave, just as this match is about to begin, that myself and uh, yourself and I will both be... There's going to be a judge system in place. We're going to be in supporting roles at Hard to Kill this Sunday. The referee, of course, is going to be three judges, the referee being the main judge, and then me, myself, and or yourself and I, and um, to tally the score, because the Championship Scramble match is 
basically a multi-man false count anywhere. I didn't run much. You know, with a 25 um. minute a 25 minute time limit, we're being told here now, and I mean, we're, yeah. So if you've got a notepad, <laughs> you're like, oh, good. and um, I don't think Dave is going to be a distraction for these two. Do you? I mean, these guys are you know at the top of their game. I mean, if anything, it'll motivate them more, won't it, to win the GFW title, being champions already. I'd, I'd I'd say so. Like I I I can't remember resistance ever being this dominant. You know, we, like we're talking about um, Infinity's like title reign, Angel's title reign, but we talk about the tag team title reign that resistance have had since coming back. You know, yeah. they came back as as a surprise team to take on D and D, who have now disbanded. From all after the reports that I've been reading online, or to be believed. Was, and now you've got you know you've got the outfit who are obviously nearing the end of their careers you know without being you know, insulting to them but they want one more run they they want to be the team that knocks off the dominant resistance yeah no, we we seen that didn't we you know I think Assassin did that uh, in last week's Battle Royale you know, going all the way, he just proved that he would love to be tag team champions, you know, even if it is just one more time. Uh, hold, hold on here, what's this? The whole team. Hold on there, Nick. Oh, oh, there's Good. Hey! <laughs> 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 He's tagged off the mat there, he Fucking Knee base broken, Right on Assassin started this match, of course, and, uh, Nick Nightwell tags in D-Man now. And here comes Hitman. That's everyone had a legal spell now in this matchup. Well, what's this now? I'll pull the ball. That's his ball, it seems. <laughs> <laughs> oh, double northern license into the cover. Beautiful. Oh, damn. Hitman's agile from his age. That's what I said. I had the idea that Hitman saw Ben that way. That was fucked. Here he is. Here he is. D-Man and Hitman now. Two of the... Powerhouses of the respective teams. And Dave, you know, let's talk about the elephant in the room here as well. I mean, if Dina and Nick Knight will go on to lose this match, does that have an effect on their mental status oh. going into schoolboy? Oh, oh dangerous DT! Oh, you rolled right into that. Beautifully done. Yeah, does, does a, a defeat tonight and a loss of gold um, affect? Your mental status going into scramble, do you think? <sighs> oh my god. Come on here, what the hell? Oh, oh. oh that's setting up. Oh, oh no way! <laughs> what the hell? Look at D-Man selling like a fucking oh. champ. <laughs> Look at Hitman, uh, D-Man really helping him. Oh, <laughs> help me! Oh. Light like Hitman, light like Hitman. <laughs> bite stiff, bite stiff. <laughs> oh my. You know what? Oh, I gosh. think... I think a loss, like across any other matches tonight, Nick, is is going to de de derail them. Because Infinity is now has all all momentum. Yeah, that's you right. Know what I mean, yeah. I think losing the titles would hurt them. Yeah. You know, I think they they lost the titles before Revolution, and I think it, I, I, I think it played on dangerous man's mind when he's psyche when he was going for the title in the main event and Nick Nightwolf went against Gale yeah. and I think he, he, he went into that match knowing you know, that, they, that they just came off a loss that's right actually I, 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 yeah, you're right, you're right enough, that's a good point I'd actually forgotten that they were not tag team champions going into the revolution pay-per-view that is absolutely right and Nick Mitro as well, I think his loss to Gale, you know, might have maybe been a... He might have been mentally affected as well. By well, the, the night after, we've seen, we seen a different Nick Mitro. When he, yeah. he destroyed those <coughs> poor kids with the tables, we haven't seen them since. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on now. Oh, that was out of nowhere. 
all level. Beautiful. Beautiful done. You come on and took that like a beast. <laughs> oh, he, he, oh, he, yeah. he said, let's try to set the fall of one. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> 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 oh, <yes. laughs> oh, oh, Fall man. Oh, damn it. Oh, that was uh, before the, the demon barely got hit on pin there. And the assassin came all these there in the mirror. Oh, Arse. Arsehole! Oh, they're, they're almost like... They're almost going head... Get in the ring! Get in the ring! They're almost going head to head here. If that's easy to strap from D-Man... Go on, hit on the cover. Oh, son of a bitch. That's the oldest play in the book. <laughs> I don't know what we they were saying to each other, but... They were, um, psyching each other out, that's for sure. What? Well, what the hell is Back this? Back to McKnight, though, what is this? What? Oh! Yeah, what the hell? Hey! 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 Like that for years. Yeah, like, you don't fucking know really put his hip out of fucking stuff. He took a page of Eric Hayes' book there and he took it out of the dead air. Oh my god. Oh my god, damn it. I think my eyes know what we've seen. This could be the opportunity that resistance needs. I think they go over a swing and headbreaker there. We've seen a Tash fly right off his office box. In 4K, fucking broken. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute, here we go. Oh, Dave, a pendulum backbreaker. Am I right in saying as well, Dave, that, you know, if um, Resistance lose this match in the titles tonight, that they, they don't have a rematch clause, do they? They haven't actually defended this time. Nope. Right? That's, that is the, um, that is the, the elephant in the room, as, as, as you used it earlier on that, if, it's, if they lose, that's it, it's done. You know, but uh, because of uh, Assassin Hitman's legend, they would go, oh, double elbow, beautiful. Uh, because of Assassin Hitman's legend status, they're on both shows. So, That's right. yeah, they are. The, so, so the tag titles will still be a joint affair. That's right. Well, we, we, we both know that the, out, the outfit, well, whatever team wins this oh, match oh, tonight. What the hell oh. is this? Oh, God damn it. Assassin must be you guys! DDP in the audience! Bam! Bam! <laughs> oh, yeah. What was that? Right here, fucking Flash Lightning's book, I'll tell you! <laughs> you think you're the cruiser, mate? That's why he's so subtle! <laughs> <laughs> no, I yeah, think, uh, you know, whatever team that uh, come out on top tonight, you're right, they will. It'll be a forsaken tag team. You know, that uh, will be next in line. For a tag opportunity, if you remember. Oh, God, so yeah. Shit, outfit, shit. Uh, <laughs> I think a lot of people forget this. The outfit have similar contracts to Devil. You know, he can. They can appear on both shows whenever they want to. And, oh, my God! Oh, come on, <sighs> man! What was that all about? Oh! It's brutal. That's Bilky! That's Bilky! <laughs> come on, man! Yeah, if you, you can't be allowing this, you can't be on your game tonight in case you're doing the scramble. <laughs> <laughs> in case somebody gets pinned around. Me, me. <laughs> uh, 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 oh shit, I missed it. Oh shit, I missed it. <laughs> yeah, you know, I think Devil was granted that special contract because he was the face oh. of the company. And I think, oh, when Assassin Hitman returned, they came back as part of the NWO. Oh, that's um, right. When yeah, when did. Crush had his had his like passing of the torch thing to yeah that was on the first devil um, the first fight wasn't it or the, yeah. yeah that was the first fight and I think right? after that they dropped the NWO stuff and they basically they reformed the outfit and decided they wanted one more run so because they came back on like the I think it's called a temporary legends contract they got signed to an actual active competitors contracts now, but with the legend stuff still in place, which means that they can come on any show that they want. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Yeah, they can. So that's, so either way, you know, the tag titles will still be represented by a, um, a, a team on both hooked. shows. Oh, hold on here. Yeah. Deep oh, one. Deep one. Cover. Holy crap. That was a an amazing like that. Team. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Oh, he's not like Michael yelling, yes, sir. Oh. oh my god. 
And that now means that Nick and Dangerous Man Dave, Resistance. Uh, oh, look at them. Well, have a rematch clause in this contract. Damn. Nick, I, I don't think there's a tag team out there that can match. Wow. Resistance, pound no. for pound. And that was a one that was a hellacious V plant. And that ended the whole match. That was it. Holy crap, that was out of nowhere. You know you know what actually <laughs> off camera was the last match McKnight will made Assassin tap out. And this match Dangerous Man's pin hitman. Oh yeah, so he has, yeah. You're right enough. Oh, God wow. Oh, that was and now, and now we're what I lose to Tornado and Devil. <laughs> <laughs> and then a tornado. That, would... <laughs> <laughs> that would just be like the, the, way, it would, the way it would work. Uh, yeah. Uh huh. I know, man. All right, here we go. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Ah, here we go. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, oh my new favourite. <laughs> and switching gears just like that. <laughs> D man sitting backstage. He's 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 never happy. He's never happy. <laughs> I won for fuck's sake. Come out. Right, here we go now, and um, this is the only. <laughs> I mean, over the last few weeks, Dave, these guys have all fought one another um, at some stage, but this is the only uh, concoction we haven't had yet, which is RV3 taking on JR Dallas's um, paid monster of sorts, his, um, well, mind, you know, his minder. Um, Headhunter, you know, he defeated Cole. But Dallas hasn't been able to defeat Cole. Yeah. But didn't Cole now because I'm getting confused. Oh, yeah, that's what happens <laughs> when I go to Spain. Um, so because I have to kill, it's mm -hmm. Carlton versus Headhunter. That's right. Yeah, because if you remember, Carlton fought Dallas. They, they're one a piece, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Carlton initially fought Dallas for a contract. Yeah, Dallas, I, I, Cole, I, I, I remember those matches. Those matches were Cole amazing. outlasted them for, I think it was five minutes the first time, then ten minutes the second time. And then beat him uh, the third Cole time. Beat him the third time. So then Headhunter got involved and beat Carlton in his first match, if you remember. Yeah, his debut match, yep. Yeah, and then at Revolution, yeah, you're right, they had a tag team match where Carlton then pinned Headhunter. Pinned Headhunter. In yeah, when RV3 returned. Yeah, that's right, his return that night. And then, you know, since then... Um, well, this this is the... All the roads lead to... Have led to here now. Which, you know, hard to kill, as we know. It's been billed as a decider, you know, Carlton will face Headhunter in that... Three... Well, yeah, best out of three, I suppose you could say. I've got one cheek out of his teeth, please. <laughs> Eyes and teeth. <laughs> no, how else? And this tape, please. And here he comes. Here he is. The newly invented, reinvented even, RV3 here. And ladies and gentlemen, just a quick um, recap, or, well, a quick advert, actually. Um, Hard to Kill will be this Sunday. 48 hours away, but Dave, we're selling tickets now <coughs> for GFW's first ever Battlegrounds as well, and which will be in a month's time. The, the official start of oh, Kill the World season as well. Yeah, Ticket, now tickets are on sale now, folks. Get them all you can. For all of you that are confused um, with the, the, the names, Battlegrounds is replacing the old the old o over the edge format so it's a 30 man over the top rope battle royal 
and we rebranded it Battlegrounds and it begins like Nick said it begins the road to kill the world yeah people have you've noticed on the website Dave as well which I've noticed in the last week or so a couple of weeks entrants have been on the fight side anyway and I think Forsaken just started on Juvictus of course with a few of their superstars but um, yeah. the entries have now started you know people enter themselves into that match 30 man match as you just mentioned and starts off with two and one man will come out every well it'll be every 60 seconds for fight um, every minute or so and until there's one man left standing and that man will go to kill the world to fight for the GFW title of course Forsaken will be for the winner will face the global champion that kill the world also two huge matches one main one massive event yeah we're very excited to get to battlegrounds and begin the road you know the path the destination to have to kill the world but before that Nick we've got hard to kill yeah. which is shaping up to be the biggest pay-per-view that GFW has ever done yeah that's the thing we say this every every month but it was the same with the revolution but I mean the excitement levels have just I think even Oof. exceeded that oh my god um, in, in recent uh, weeks and days and it is going to be a massive event you know in its own right um, but wait, what did you make, Dave? Let's talk about the global title just briefly. I mean, what did you make of the Hayes announcing that the global championship is going to be kicking off? Um, hard to kill this Sunday. I mean, that's the first time I believe that's ever happened. That's a massive well, announcement. We know that the Hayes in the kit like to make history, you know. Oh god, who's Dallas or have you? <laughs> San <laughs> San the ref the refs better read that. Like that. A, a second brief that I've sent them the day. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that um, it's oh. not, you know, oof, oh, it's it. not a like a dig at, at the global title situation. It's making history. I don't think we've ever kicked off a pay per view ever with, like you said, the Holy Grail. Of, 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 of the company being defended yeah. and I think it's huge for Cyclone to be the first person to defend and yeah, I think absolutely. it's huge it's huge for the burning a huge opportunity for the burning Dave you know we talk, to, we talk to fans a lot and oh holy crap oh oh, oh I went over here oh, you've got to be kidding me oh no um, yeah we talk to fans a lot and I think you know but oh Oh, hold on now! Oh! This match is just ex exploded into life! Oh! Oh my god! Damn, that was right in the throat there. Robert hasn't moved. Oh, and Robert was focusing on that throat. This is not good for Robert here. Oh, damn it! It's a good job Robert's no going to be at the PPV. <laughs> well, he's going to be at the PPV after this shot, let me tell you. <laughs> but yeah, I think, you know, depending on who you talk to, Dave, as well, if you talk to fans, I think nowadays it's a it's a, a big thing to open the paper, you know, to open a show or to open a paper view. I think maybe in years gone by, it wasn't considered a big thing, but I think now it's a, like a modern thing for big matches, you know, to kick off big shows and I think the Hayes are just I think it's I suppose it is going to be like a trial to see how it goes but there's no doubt wherever Cyclone and Burning are in the car that's going to be a fantastic match and hold on now oh can he get him oh he's got him up again oh oh power oh damn it and the big the spin on that oh come on off of me get him off of the apron mm -hmm. There's the burrow and details. This is not right. Oh, hold on. Oh, the power. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. The ring shook. The bit shook. Oh, what? Oh, the ring shook. 
<laughs> Come on! <laughs> How much of this is left going to take? Oh, hold on now, Dallas is pleading, but he's <laughs> the ref! He's ejected! The ref has had, has had no, none of Dallas's crap tonight, he's gone, he's out of here! God damn it! Oh! And, and he's let down head on the maybe, oh. maybe, 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 maybe that distraction was all he needed! Oh, oh no! Maybe too little too late! Oh, jeez! Oh, I'm not feeling the effects, Dave, and he keeps holding his throat here, I just wonder how much... Damage has been done. Oh, it could be a proper, a proper cheeky injury if um, Headhunter keeps ramming his thumb through it. And that's serious, right? That's quite oh, serious. For 100 percent, that's it's at least three months out. Yeah. Oh, um, what is he not, doing now? Robert's not looked very lively. Well, I suppose nobody would after getting thumbs from Robert. Well, oh, bad move. Oh, wait a minute here. Oh, no. He's still bad move. He's still bad move. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! oh. I forgot to say it. Oh! Hammer blow there to the base of the net. <laughs> and um, Dave Robert doesn't look in a good way here. Oh, if you're shooting when. Yeah! You're seeing what I'm seeing. Oh! Glam slam! Brutal! Carlton was trying to run him on, but. I mean, you can't really roll somebody on if they can't breathe, right? 100% man. Oh, hold on, mate. I thought I'd move out of the way. And Dave, I think that's the thing, you know, Hedgehog is a 300 pound all right, but he moves like a light heavyweight. Oof. You know, he's just Every so Every move he does, Nick, he's hitting the neck, the neck area. You can see Robert struggling to breathe on the outside. Yeah, Robert is, he looks blown up. I don't think he is blown up, but I think he is oh. struggling to breathe through that windpipe. And oh, um, I think it would be a wise call if the ref maybe you will have to take some look at Robert here. Because Robert's not going to quit though, you know, we know that. He would have to like pass out before he quit, but... It's not moving very well here. He needs to get oxygen out of those muscles as soon as possible, but... I think I just cut Oh, missed the jumping me! Oh, no! Oh. Oh. The Lansing clothesline there. And look at this now, this methodical, I think Hitler realises what's happening. And the slow methodical beatdown now here. This is hard to watch. And, oh no, he's going to go for it again. Ah. Oh, ref, you, need, you need to have a look at this ref. And this is going to be it. Oh, for God's sake. Well, I don't know if you've got to stay down, man. Wait, Robert, you can't even really stand, he's not... Oh no, this is bad. And Headhunter's going to try and make sure that Robert does not make it to Battleground Space. As we've just uh, mentioned. Then we're not going to have Robert stop him. Oh, hold on. Oh my god, he did get him up? He did it! Oh my god! Oh! oh. oh. That Bender must took, That must have taken every ounce of oxygen to pick this monster up. My God, oh my God! That's what he did. And what? Oh my God! Where's Robert? Oh, what's he doing, doing now? Robert! Oh, oh. oh no! Oh! Oh! <laughs> well, they both went for something there. They both missed. Oh! Oh! Good grief! Oh no! Oh. This isn't the thing, isn't it? He knows how to use his weight to his advantage. And um, Back on the wall. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! And that's gonna drive every bit of air out of Robert. Robert kicked out again! Oh, what the God. hell? <laughs> Try that loud! Oh, Robert looks like a better way now. I thought it's because he's met us in the building here now. Get him! Get him! Oh, look at the light, the place of fire by Robert here. What a match this is. A super fight tonight. Super fight. Oh, the Oh, the final cut. Oh. Again. Rest in the teeth. Driving the back of his head out of the map. 
He's talking and there's no way he's gonna get him up for a third time now. Oh, he looks exhausted. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he does. Oh, oh, he, oh. he hit the back of his head, hit the top rope. Right off the bottom. <laughs> oh, holy crap. And he he's got a did it. Wow. RV3 <laughs> victorious tonight. Oh my god, one hand on his throat. I mean, I, I, I'm not convinced, Dave, that. I mean, I don't know if there must be some form of an injury here. But. It's not stopping me. All that matters to Robert is winning. Yeah. What a performance. And he really was, wasn't he? The head hunter was aiming for the throat. Whether that was a game plan or not, between him and Dallas at the start. But Headhunter looked like he was going to, he was trying to bloody injure Robert there. Headhunter's main weapon is the Simone Spike. It's a move that plunges a heavily taped thumb into the, the check air. Yeah. And if he hits that enough times, it's game over. Or if he hits it one time really good. Yeah. Huge damage. It's, uh, uh, it's, it's career over. Right, I'm just going to go to the part two now, buddy. Two seconds.